China revealed hidden deadly robots underwater. War has been one of the most destructive things that have ever happened to humans. One of the most notable examples is the Russia-Ukraine conflict. During a battle, many lives are lost and many people are killed. The aftermath has an impact on all parties involved in the war. During a battle, humans are killed as a result of collateral damage. But what if we can avoid this by eliminating humans from war entirely? What if AI bots could fight battles instead of humans? Let us take a deep dive into how some countries like China are already developing bots for war. To know more, make sure to watch the video till the end. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new video from us. That being said, let's begin. When you think of war, the first thing that comes to mind is the bloodshed and the lives lost. War has been traditional for a very long time. We have made significant advances in warfare. We no longer use traditional swords and shields to combat. Guns are an important aspect of the war. We've come a long way in terms of self-destruction, from automatic firearms to nuclear missiles. AI bots will become the most recent addition to this as we move toward a future dominated by AI. Instead of using technology to help us develop, we are generating more and more methods to destroy ourselves. Many countries are developing their versions of these combat robots. It is already a known fact that AI bots are going to take away our jobs and more people will continue to lose jobs. China has been a dominant player in AI and related sectors. With a population of 1.4 billion people, it is one of the world's most populous countries. On the ground, AI is still in the early stages of development. China, on the other hand, has taken the game to a whole new level. China has already begun to construct underwater AI bots capable of fighting conflicts. These bots can attack enemy ships with torpedoes and are untraceable. The most intriguing fact is that they are capable of directing the missile without human involvement. It is well known that China has been one of the most ambitious countries, always striving to accomplish more than what it is capable of. They are always need on experimenting with things. Given China's massive population, the secret was kept carefully hidden. When the world learned that China was developing new types of bots, it was astounded. These AI bots are known as Unmanned Underwater Vehicles, or UUVs for short. So far, these have been tested successfully. According to early reports, these bots were able to locate submarines and fire torpedoes at them during tests. These experiments are being conducted for over a decade, but only came to light recently. These tests were carried out in the Taiwan Strait. The vehicle was deployed 30 feet below the surface of the sea on a fixed track. After exploring the region, the bot was able to identify submarines. These were then able to change course towards the submarine, navigate around it and fire missiles at it. The experiments were carried out using unarmed torpedoes. It's a good thing that it was tested with unarmed torpedoes. What would have happened with such things with real torpedoes going out of control? It's difficult to imagine a more dangerous situation. This bot, like all the other AI-powered bots, used the detectors it was equipped with to gather data from its surroundings. To make judgments, this data was then run through a complicated machine learning algorithm. It was easily able to launch missiles at the target after it was able to finalize the target. Even in the context of modern developments, this is remarkable. If this was maintained a secret, did China reveal this to the outside world? This was meant for Taiwan. Japan has stated that it will work with the US forces to safeguard Taiwan. China responded by saying that Japan was building its own grave by backing Taiwan. Taiwan and China have been at war for a long time. Perhaps we should create a list of nations that are not at war with China. China also warned that Japan would be unable to win a war against China because it lacked the necessary technologies. Unmanned underwater vehicles are already being developed by shipping companies and navies around China. The only difference is that these bots have been sent to war. But with the recent developments, it has become evident that this will happen soon. Many of these UUVs were discovered by a fisherman in various parts of Asia. Perhaps the bots are unable to identify fishermen after all. There are also different variants of these bots. Gliders, which are self-driving bots used to study water, are one type. It is largely built of metal and is around 225 centimeters tall. At first appearance, you might think it's a missile, but it's not. Many researchers have been working to build such technology and they believe that the necessity for such technology is essential as we approach the AI age. It is also said that these bots can be used to make multiple attacks on the same target at the same time. Another major advantage of these kinds of bots is that they are accurate and precise, unlike human-guided launchers, which can be inaccurate and might miss the targets. But the major disadvantage is that these just shoot at the unidentified vehicles as soon as they see them. 
but with humans, have to wait for confirmation before they can shoot at the target. The key factor is that the enemy ship won't have the time to react to such attacks, as the shift are unexpected. This makes these bots more lethal. These are just killing machines that are designed to perform only one task, which is to shoot down unidentified vehicles. What do other countries think about this, and where do they currently stand? Today, the use of AI has become common in warfare. Many governments are using artificial intelligence, AI, to fire missiles or to stop missiles from being shot at them. As an example, consider Israel. They used an AI bot to intercept the rockets fired at it by the militants. These were able to save the lives of many Israelis. Drones were used to accomplish this achievement. These drones can move and attack in unison, eliminating the need for a human operator. These just require one human operator. This operator must provide permission for the drones to attack the targets. According to legend, the Israeli defense was capable of carrying out more than 30 missions. More drone technologies are being developed in several other nations as well. Drones, in addition to delivering meals and recording videos, may also be used to murder you. This makes things worse and scary. Even the US has such underwater tech that they use to scout the waters. This is known as Orca. This tech was developed with the help of Boeing. This project was started way back in 2017. The project also has plans to build large underwater, unmanned vehicles that will be used by the Navy to conduct unmanned missions. These kinds of vehicles are generally powered by diesel or lithium-ion batteries. Once submerged and underwater, the diesel generators will be used to charge the batteries. Governments have recognized that such technology is harmful and, if not well managed, may lead to human extinction. Governments all across the globe have agreed that a common approach should be taken to the use and development of such technology. They agreed that such items should be regulated for our protection. These are situations in which such items have murdered people without permission. The use of such technology is still being investigated, especially since it was discovered to be dangerous to humans. These drones may also use face recognition to target specific individuals. Such technology in the wrong hands has the potential to prove deadly to the human species. It is the responsibility of governments to control and regulate such technology. Will such things take over humans? Is it a question we still don't have the answer to? But it is evident that we will soon find out the answer to this question. Comment and let us know your thoughts on such tech. That's all for this video. See you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an important video from us. Until then, peace.